This short video is going to explore the ways that we should be creating our affirmations. The purpose of an affirmation is to deliver to your subconscious mind, or to the cosmos, or your higher self, your desire. So it's like passing a blueprint through. The way this happens is in pictures, it's not in words. So when you create your affirmation, you need to consider what picture it creates in your mind when you read it through. To give you a, a, a very, very basic example, if you said, I don't want to be poor anymore, it creates the image of being poor. If you said, I don't want to be rich, it creates the image of being rich. But if you said, I do want to be poor, it creates the image of being poor. But if you said, I do want to be rich, it creates the image of being rich. So I do or I don't doesn't mean anything at all. The words have no meaning. It's the object of the focus. If you focus on poverty, it doesn't matter if you say I do or I don't, the focus is on poverty. If you focus on richness and wealth, even if you say I don't or if you say I do, the focus, the image you create in your mind that you pass on to your subconscious is for wealth. So it's very important that you're creating the right images. Also, you need to state your affirmations as though you already have them. When you state an affirmation as though it's already yours, the image that you create is of you experiencing that reality. So the vibration that you send out to the cosmos is of your experience in the reality, not looking forward to it or hoping that it will happen, or it being just around the next corner. You need to focus on it actually being there now. So you are saying, I am rich and abundantly wealthy and it feels great. And then that image of you enjoying all of the rich splendor that's arrived in your life then becomes the blueprint of what you begin to create. And the final point on creating your affirmations, they do need to be positive and they need to be in the present tense and they need to create positive pictures. But also, and this one's really important, if you create an affirmation and you read it, it should make you smile. The emotion that goes with the affirmation should make you really feel motivated, make you should feel happy and you should feel even excited because you know that it's going to manifest it in your life. So when you read through your goals, if you don't smile, you need to revise those goals and write them out again. And you can just do this by embellishing on your language. If you're writing, I earn £5,000 a month, that's not very stimulating. But if you're writing, I am delighted now that I earn £5,000 a month from my passive income and it feels great and I can help so many people. In fact, that's another quick tip. Whatever you desire in your life, whatever you want to manifest, whether it's money, a physical object, love, or whatever it is, imagine other people getting it too. So if you're looking for the love of your life, Imagine that everybody else that's looking for the love of their lives are finding them. If you want a new car, then imagine that everybody else that wants a new car is enjoying having one too. If you want to win some money, then imagine everybody else is. If you can do this, if you can spread to the goodness of the entire of the human race, to all of mankind, then your, your um, positive affirmations and your cosmic orders will be that much more powerful.